Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm pointing my finger at the webcam like we're using it or something. Uh, that threw me off. That totally fucking threw me off. <laughs> anyway, I'm Karma Jolt. This game is Secret of Mana, and this friend is Safety Servebot. Hello, I'm Safety Servebot. This guy keeps pointing at a camera, and I'm getting a little scared. Uh, I don't mean to scare you. <laughs> well, let's fucking do this shit. Last we left off, I actually saved the game like a responsible adult. And this guy's like, oh, let me fix you up with my granddaughter. She's only 43, and she's not married yet, so <laughs> take care. And you know what would have been really tragic that we have to do? I think we almost forgot to seal the mana seed by levitating it and spinning it around. Yeah, we almost forgot to play the game right. Yeah. Because that would have sucked if we got to the next part and be like, Why can't we progress? Oh, because we didn't actually do the thing where you hit the button on the seed. Which is really just a symbolic gesture in the first place. <laughs> but I think... Man, an old man invites you into his home, you have to make sure to touch the magic seed in oh, his house. Gosh. Grab my nuts. <laughs> um, so yeah, next thing we gotta do is find Mantango Village. Holy shit, these rabbits! These fucking ass silk tails <laughs> are destroying us right now. And you know what I actually definitely should do? These rabbits can rain acid from the sky. They're a danger to the ecosystem. I should definitely use my um, silphid magic to, just to level it up. Because by the time we get to Mantango, you know, we'll be able to say it an inn or whatever. Um, and then there's like a boss that's like immediately after that who is allergic to silphid magic. Oh, that's a lot of fun. Not my magic, though, because it's all support, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you can still use it. You can still, like... I'll tell you what, you can still use your magic while we're on the way. In fact, why don't you do your analyzer spell right now on that ore? Because I just want to showcase the purpose of the analyzer spell. Using me as an example. Is it analyzer? <laughs> Most likely. Oh, I'm gonna fuck up. It said trap okay or something. Silphid's magic will work. Oh, good. I don't know if you saw, like, the little uh, animation thing that popped up. It was, like, this box that was, like, boop, 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 and it said the phrase trap okay. I thought it said, I, mean, I thought it said trap or. A trap or? Like, it was giving us a different option. Could have been something else. Nobody really knows. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna stop us a whole bunch to use some stupid fucking magic. Ugh, oh, God. That's okay. It's not like we're trying to be professional or anything. Bop. Get unconscious or dead, that's fine. <laughs> Turn into bones. Oh no, I'm silenced. My controls are reversed, but I'm super good at, you know, doing shit while my controls are reversed still. Ah, never mind, I'm good at getting hit. Welcome back to the series where we beat up on small woodland creatures and also ow owls. Go ahead and use more spells if you'd like. Like, uh, feel free oh, to yeah. heal a uh, Hulk, cause I ran into a whole bunch of monsters. It's the water drop. One. That's right. It's been it's, a while. It's the water drop one that is clearly a water drop and not some sort of ice pillar or <laughs> arcane uh, hydrogen beam. Damn! He put me to sleep. Oh, I thought he died for a second. I was really worried. <laughs> He's allergic to water. How could you? <laughs> Fuck. Trash is poison. Whatever. All trash. Okay, I actually can't believe this right now, but Hulk is level zero with the Moogle Claws. I can't charge my attack. Uh-oh. Did we not level him up attack. on that? Probably not. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're looking for a cave somewhere. Okay. Oh, cave? I could have sworn it was this way. But I think we just have to... I mean, we're definitely going the right way because we, we blew up that, um... That crystal thing. Right. What we were supposed to do. I bet we are supposed to go up there. It's the only way that we couldn't go before, so you know it's the right way. Yeah. <laughs> well, peace. peace out. We didn't need to play We didn't need to play this game. That's fine, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna use my, my one MP spell. Hey, you oh, can nice. heal me too, because I'm really bad at not getting hit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to make you do actual work here. Oh, were you not trash? Yeah, that was the wrong me. That's fine. <laughs> you can max out his HP all over again if you want. That was the old him. Alright. <laughs> one more time. That's the old me. There um, we go. There you go. Memes magic skill up. 
Hey, hey. Dying reaches level two. Look at this fucking idiot stuck behind a tree. I think. Um, I'm gonna switch my weapon because I feel like it. I'm gonna use the long ass bow. I'm so glad this bow is just way longer than other bows. I, I'm just happy that it's longer than it used to be. Yeah. Remember how you how useless it was when it was short? Oh my gosh. Tell me about it. Oh, I'm oh. I'm sorry. I'm still confused. <laughs> I don't realize oh. that. Um, What's this? I thought going into a new room would uh, cancel the confusion. Quick, let's jack his robes. Oh gosh. Okay, so these pebbler things, by the way, I know we encountered them in like, the last episode. Right. But these are like some of the most annoying enemies in the game, just because they have such a crazy evasion rate. Yeah. They need to them. That's cool. Do they also have a bunch of iframes? Because it looks like they Sonic the Hedgehog all over the place, and that seems hard to hit. Dude, I think so. Like, I think they just have crazy like invulnerability. Oh. This is Mantango Village. Welcome to Mantango. Oh, it's Mutango. It's not oh. Mantango. <laughs> I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. Yeah, Mantango is a is a movie ticket service that you can find in the Secret of Mana universe. And it's a dance that is forbidden for women. <laughs> Unlike others of our kind, we're peaceful. But don't step out of fucking line. <laughs> I'm sure King Truffle can help you. So far, I think this is my favorite place. I love these little guys. How does this guy know King Truffle can help me? Maybe King Truffle is just one of those guys who is just... He knows how to fix everything. Like, uh, like Tim Allen on Tool Time. We say Matango to greet each other. It's also the name of our town. And depending on where we are, we'll say other things to greet each other. So, Chicago. <laughs> you know, it's just like in the in the newest Pokemon game, something that always bothered me was the place that you go to is Alola, and the way that you say hi in Alola is Alola. It's always bothered me. Why would you say why would you say your own city as your hello? This is Fung Castle. <laughs> Everyone inside is a fun guy. Nah. Uh, I don't know. Nah. So you say Matango to say hi to people. Mm hmm Whoa, look at this guy spinning around not knowing where he is. He's so Matango right now. Oh, so wait, all of the shopkeepers dance in this game? Yes. Oh, it's so weird awesome. that they don't do that in real life. But hey, let's get some new armor for everybody. Why not? Oh, that sounds nice to me. I could always use some new digs. Some new quill-ass cats. Fancy overalls? They're pink! That's how you know they're fancy, Hell by the way. Fucking yeah. Pink is indicative of fancy. Oops, I didn't want to buy candy, but oh, I guess we might as well. I'm gonna buy whatever this is. Wolf's band. That's oh my gosh, Wolf is always like, you guys come see me at the, uh, you know, at the Hound Dog tonight. Me and my band are playing, you know, two cents. That Wolf. just looks like rope to me. You're selling me rope, dog. Also, I'm getting very walnuts because they restore your MP, and that's good. That's what you want right now. Anything else? Now. Okay, so let's equip some items. This is my favorite part of the game, is like figuring out where to fucking go in these menus. Oh, I bought quill caps. We already had quill caps. Oh. That's fine. I just wasted some money. That's okay. We we still have a hell of a bag. Wolf span gives me two more. Okay, and then I'm gonna equip trash with some armoire here. This is gonna be a big upgrade. So yeah, that's right. By so sure. Damn, that 22 defense is legit, though. I'm I'm so happy to not die as much. Okay, now you equip yours. All right. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. <laughs> okay, so I think you already have a quill cap, and and I messed up by getting extra ones. Some blue dress, fancy overall. All right, that sounds good to me. Wait, wait, go back, go back. There's still one more item. Oh. Uh, hit down. It Damn hit it. down. And then equip the wolf's band, oh. or equip the trash can. <laughs> yeah, All right. I can do that. Now I'm gonna sell all this shit, and it's gonna take forever. I'm gonna sell. <sighs> Who's the best character in Dragon Ball Z? It's gonna take so long. We have to do a montage. A montage go? No. <laughs> That's not quite that funny. Sorry, viewers. I apologize for the low quality of this content. <laughs> I'm just really nervous right now, and I don't know what to say because I'm selling my equipment. This is the most boring part of the game. I just, and I'm making you watch it. I'm sorry, we're just so sweaty. We'll try to be funny. Yeah, by the way, it's how his balls in this room. You know the one that I was complaining about it being super cold when I was playing Metroid Rogue Dawn, and I was like, holy shit, I have 10 blankets. Now it's hot as fuck. It is like 90 degrees in this room at least. And I've got two fans running, and I'm sitting on a block of ice. 
it's r the the block of ice in and of itself is really inconvenient because it's soaking through my socks. <laughs> He's wearing flip flops, and I was wondering why at first. Um, I think first I think we just want to go this way and like stay at the end, but for no reason, what you can the walk fuck? around the fucking wall here. There's <laughs> no, this leads you nowhere. There's nothing to gain from it. I don't know why it's in the game. Oh my but god. But I just felt like showing off that you could do that. One night is 50 GB. More proof that this game is just so perfectly coded. <laughs> oh, time to hit the hay, literally. But speaking of coding, I recently found out after seeing uh, E3, uh, Nintendo's Treehouse event, they showed off a game called Ever Oasis, which, well, funny enough, is actually being done by the same person who did the Secret of Mana series. Oh yeah, you were just talking about that. Tell me about that a little bit, because I, I know nothing about this. I didn't actually watch any of E3, like I haven't seen no um, vidges. Right. Well, what's so <laughs> what's so cool about it is that it's it's the Legend of Zelda basically, but it's t you have a party system in it, and like different characters in your party are able to do different things and have like certain strengths over over other enemies. And the main draw of the game is that you go out on quests in these Zelda-like dungeons to get materials for your oasis to build up. And so that game is coming out. I'm super excited for it. And I was wondering what the creator Secret of Mana was up to for all these years. That sounds dope, though. Oh, hell yeah. I'm super looking forward to it. Load Boomerang? I didn't realize there was a, a weapon called Load something in this game. Because, like, in Chrono Trigger, you get the Load Bow and the Load Sword and the Load something else. Yeah, I remember the Load Sword from... What does that mean? Is that a word? Is that, like, a real word? <laughs> yeah, if you look it up in the dictionary, it says, uh, under synonyms, Big as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> totally bitchin'. <laughs> By the way, I love that... Hold on, let's exit and then come back in for a second. Mm. I, what is Watts doing here? He's, I'm giving, not, he's giving a little smooch. This man's told me all about you. And then he's <laughs> like, he's like, whoa, I thought you were already gone. I, I, was just, I wasn't making out with this uh, mushroom. You, uh, you didn't see anything? You were making out with a mushroom, <laughs> idiot. What are you calling mushroom? It's <laughs> probably what they call themselves. I actually don't know what they call themselves. This is the king. Here at last, the legendary knight. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> you can be truffle if you'd like. You didn't think we'd have legends here like everyone else. <laughs> That's a great voice for him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you can just move around during this fucking haiku or whatever? Yeah, see ya. Peace out. I don't need to see this fucking shit. Riding a Caucasian dragon <laughs> and wielding the sword. Because there's only one. They shall save the world. That's how we know you're the knight, because you have the sword. There's no other sword in the in the world, so it must be you. Right? Thank you guys, right? That's you guys, right? <laughs> thank you. <guys. laughs> thank I, you, right? Am I supposed to thank you at this point for showing up to save us? I knew it right away. Just yesterday, one of my people saw that Caucasian dragon fighting a huge snake. <laughs> use the first floor exit on the right for the cave, or you could use the third floor exit. It really doesn't matter. You just have to take the stairs inside. Palace, I know where it is, but first find the cave, idiot. Then I'll find you how to reach the palace. I'll tell you how to reach the palace, actually. <laughs> I'll even show you how to reach the palace. <laughs> oh, there's something upstairs. Oh, you already took it? Well, that's rude, but also it was for you in the first place, so I don't know how to react to that. Anyway, let's go find this blue eyes, white privilege. Uh, I think what we want to do... I'm sorry, I meant to say white dragon. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. I think though, before we go, I want to get my magic up to level one. At least level one. Right. Because for some reason there is a huge difference really? between magic level zero and magic level one. I think the difference, like the biggest differences in the magic levels are at the lower levels. So like, so like zero to one is huge. One to two is pretty huge. Two to three is still kind of big. Right. And then once you get it up to like level five, it's it's not like it's all the same, but um, you know, it's it's not like a marked increase. Except once you get to spell level eight, which is the maximum, right. your, some of your spells can begin to um, critical hit. 
and they have like crazy animations that I hope to show off at some point. Cool. I guess I'll start enchanting swords then so I can get my sylph magic up. Yep. Seriously, right now I'm just wasting my magic to get right. level ups. And then we're just gonna go straight back to the end. Ah, uh, so we can... Alright, so this will just be some grinding. Just like some real quick. Don't hit him, don't hit him, don't hit him. There it is, Hulk's magic skill. Okay, do you want to just waste the rest of your MP and then go back? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So, this guy's level 1. I'm gonna use two speed downs and stuff. Oh, I have Gnome up to level 2? I didn't realize that. Oh, shit. Oh, I need to use that on myself. I'll That's do it. Fine. Why not? Just use, like, a cheap spell over and over is, is an efficient way to level up. Oh, I gotcha. Three, one. What, one how much is Balloon? What am uh two. two. Alright, so I'll just use the anal Analyzer. I'm gonna slow them all down. So they're easier to analyze. <laughs> Is this crab a trap or Oh I can't target them all, okay. Nah, that'd be way too much text on the screen. <laughs> Usually it'll say something like, you know, Crab fears Undyne or something, and mm -hmm. it'll tell you what their weakness is, you know. Ah. Crab fears established religion. Okay. Sleep flower? Ah, shit. Hardly even newer. What? <laughs> okay, um... Hey, what did I miss? <laughs> Do you want to go back? Yeah. All right, because there's a boss coming up that's like, I think just to the north there. Mm -hmm. And you definitely want to have magic level one. So, sorry if that's boring to you, YouTube. Ah, uh, they don't care. You think they're watching? Doubt it. <laughs> one night is 50 GP. Don't ask about the secret hallway in the back of this room. <laughs> Well, how was your day? Enough talk! Let's go! <laughs> Save your game? How do you pronounce that, by the way? I've only ever read it. Okay, um... I kinda wanna see... I was gonna, like, check weapon levels and shit, but never mind. Mm. I don't think anyone's, like, maxed out, so I'm not gonna be, like, wasting any points by giving Thug the... the axe. Thug? I meant to call him Hulk. <laughs> uh, I think save your MP at this point. Oh, okay. Because I, cause I want to get to the boss. Oh, okay, so we're getting to the boss now. You'll level that guy up soon enough, anyway. Yeah, and it doesn't really matter for oh, me shit. all that much, seeing as all my stuff is just support. Yeah. Alright, let's kill this guy and then go. Okay. Because he deserves it. Ah, he hit me with his claw, but like he threw it at me? That's gotta hurt a lot. I feel like this thing's hurting itself a lot more than we're hurting yet. Claw toss! Tail spin! Oh, I love that show. Oh, yeah. With with Baloo. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the... Uh, it's like a Disney cartoon show, for those who don't know, Tail Spin. Kind of goes hand in hand with the, like, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. And uh, DuckTales. DuckTales, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is getting a remake in 2017. Oh, yeah, and, like, Ben Schwartz is in it, and, like, uh... Oh, who else is in it that I'm really excited about? Uh, me. David Tennant. Oh yeah, David Tennant's gonna be Scrooge McDuck. I'm extremely excited about uh, Lin Manuel Miranda yeah. playing the part of uh, Gizmo, which is so cool. It's pretty. Cool. <laughs> I, I I can I can definitely say that I've been watching the the new theme song for Ducktales on repeat. Uh huh. Yeah yeah yeah. Because <laughs> it's so good. I've seen that video a bunch of times. By the way, I'm not sure if David Tennant can sing. <laughs> I'm like not sure about that. I guess we're gonna find out whenever the show comes out, you know huh? What I, need. I need the whip. If they never let him sing when the show is happening, then we know that he can't sing. Let me whack this guy. Alright, you got it. Ah, damn! I need scissors! <laughs> 16, well, that's a Metal Gear Solid 2 reference. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh, careful. Don't land on that. Holy shit, they just fucking landed on a spike. Like, that's so <laughs> reckless of them. <laughs> Whip smack. I, you know, the one thing that I feel... This fucking guy over here. The one problem that I have with this game is that they nobody's safe enough. This whole game's too dangerous. 
Yeah, can't they just go on a wholesome adventure? Uh, I guess we're just peacing. Later, dude! Bye, y'all! Uh, I assume I gotta go this way. I'm hoping so. But! Whip smack! Summon four gods. <laughs> I am just listing the names of attacks in Legend of Dragoon, which is a great game with great attacks, okay? And even better music, because the music in that game gives me a feeling. Actually very pace. good, yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's great. I love the hip hoppiness of that soundtrack. Yeah, look at this fucking guy. He's like, I can't do anything because I'm holding on to this balloon and I want to be careful and I don't pop it. Also, I'm losing my out voice. <laughs> uh, might need a heal at some point. I, I'll, I'll go ahead and heal all of us because yes. I'm starting to run a little low too. Yes, please. Or I'm going to run and get him. hit with trash so that your heal won't go to waste. Wait, you just healed trash? I didn't even mean to. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. Try this! Aha! Try this on for size. Good. Now They're we're jeans all that I got for your birthday. I was hoping that you'd be a little bit more considerate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna assume that this guy is weak to fucking big impale rocks. Impale rocks, holy shit, 314. Oh. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, I get it. Because you kill two rocks with one bird. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't funny. Hold on. <laughs> It was dumb. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. <laughs> well, no use beating off a dead horse. Oh, oh, <laughs> use analyzer on this uh, little crystal orb thing. Uh, I gotta. This or it has so many secrets, SSB. Is it okay if I abrev your name? Trap or... Gnome's <laughs> magical work. Oh, oh, I think actually... I think I have to use uh, Mud Punch, Earth Slide on this, because Gem Missile will not work. <laughs> mud Punch. <laughs> That's my favorite spell in any video game. Heard the sound of fall, like literally right in front of you. Yeah, that's, that's where that falling rock was. That's what we just kind of fucking <laughs> did, game. Come on, get with the times. Um, and now where can we go? Is it up here? I don't know. What was down here? Did we come from that way? Oh, maybe we did. Come from this way. Damn it! If only we weren't so funny, it would be easier to pay attention. <laughs> Have we been here? All that time we waste on being funny, we could read instead. Oh, this is where we need to go. Like, for mostly sure. Yes, we made it to the mouth. All right, cool. There's a big ass snake here. Um, what am I doing? So it says Sylph's magic will work. Um. Yeah, go ahead and analyze him if you want. It'll be like, oh, he's so afraid of, you know, Sylph's magic. By the way, that guy can totally fucking eat you. Whoa! Target take a Takashin. Great Viper Fear Slipid. Sylphid. Trash is pygmy. Pygmized? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep using lightning over and over. Because that does a lot of damage at level one. Yeah, it did like a hundred something. Oh, oh my shit, God. trash is dead. Oh shit. Okay. That's, wait, wait. Exit out. Exit out. Okay. Because you gotta wait for him to actually be dead before you can use a couple of wishes. Oh. Uh, so I'm gonna shoot some lightning. You revive that guy. Okay. Damn it. I'm out of mana. All right. I'll so revive the use... guy and heal. Yeah, yeah. Just revive him. Use a couple of wishes. All right. Somewhere. In That's here. it. Trash. Cool, I'm gonna get 50 mana, even though my max is 3rd fucking T. Let's see if maybe this does some damage. I doubt it. I doubt it doesn't. I doubt it does as much. The one thing that I'm extremely happy about is that you can actually hit this boss. Because I remember in the last one we fucking couldn't. Oh, cool. He ate you and then pooped you out. Like some weird snake, snake rattle and roll shit. <laughs> when you're tiny, you can only punch. You can also use magic. Pro tip? The speed runs of this game, when they're about to spam magic, they will purposely pygmy someone because they cast faster that way. No shit. Yeah, they also I get just eaten learned that today. Faster that way. They what? They also get eaten faster that way because that's just what happens. Digest. Are you dead? I am. I, was I might be spamming too fast for you, so like slow me down if you need to like do a spell. Oh, that might be what's happening. Yeah, or <laughs> I could just not be looking at what I'm doing. I apologize if I'm just like going too fast and like not giving you a chance to do anything in this battle. <laughs> oh, that's it's pretty fine. much how Secret of Mana works. Oh yeah, yeah, he's dead. Yeah. 
He wasn't even alive to begin with. Yo, that. he exploded! What was in him? He actually exploded differently from how they usually explode. Also, there's a path up here. You might not have noticed that, but I've played this game a million times, and that's how I know. Whoa, shit, there's a path in here? Yeah, dog. Check this shit out. Gaia, too bright! Oh, who's what? this? What? Who's this place? This is the legendary white ass dragon? Pasty ass dragon? <laughs> well, look, he's standing in the sunlight to get a tan, okay? So he's trying. <laughs> he's trying. Its parents must have been beaten by that serpent. What serpent? What the hell are you talking about? That serpent. Yeah, you know, it's funny though that the dragon got beaten by the serpent because dragons can fly. <laughs> and serpents, I mean, maybe it snuck up on them while they were asleep. It won't make it if we leave it here. Make what? <laughs> it's way too big for us to carry. Let's ask Truffle. Yeah, so, carry me. <laughs> so wait, how are we going to ask Truffle? We walked all this way. I mean, yeah, there's nothing. Oh, it came with us. Oh, I didn't realize this creature could move. <laughs> so I'm guessing that this is going to be our new mount for the game. Eventually, yes. Oh. But right now, it's just a youngin. He'll okay. only slow you down, so I'll eat him. I mean, raise him. <laughs> K King Truffle. Quiet, Quiet, you. I never get to talk. You three get going. I'll take good care of him, if like, you know what I mean. Why was that guy silent so fast? He was just going to say, like, Oh, King Truffle, I'll help you. I actually have dragon food. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I actually come from I actually come from a family of people who raise dragons. <laughs> They're not supposed to sit in chairs. It's bad for their spine. How do you like the name Flammy? It's stupid, and I hate it. Ugh. Na 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 na. Oh, it it looks like it's going to give you a choice there, but you actually don't get to pick. Hang on. I sound like an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, just a little bit. Hang on. I sound like an idiot. <laughs> All right. Wait, guys. Hang on. I sound like an idiot. <laughs> You would agree with me whether you liked the name or not. No, I wouldn't. That's a shitty name. So let's call him Flammy. God. Okay, uh, but actually, is it Flamy or Flammy? Well, it's got two M's. It, so it does. It should be Flammy. All right. No, it should be something else entirely. I think. <laughs> it shouldn't be Flammy, that's for sure. And be done with it. Oh, by the way, you can get shot out of a fucking cannon. Oh, Go thanks. piss off. We, fi we finally have the privilege to shoot ourselves out of a cannon again. Thank you. In the you. forest to the south. Okay, I'm only saying that because I have to remember it, you know. You'll find the Fire Palace somewhere in the desert of Kakara. I don't want to go there. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> the Fire Palace. <laughs> well, if we have to. Oh, we can move now. Oh, okay. Let's, uh... Oh, you know what? We got some orbs while we were out there. We got oh, at least a sword yeah. orb. I thought you left already! Yeah, you think that every time. <laughs> okay, which one's ready? Oh, you, did, you didn't see anything! Harold. Claymore mines. Plant them and they explode. That's how mines work. Actually, you know what? I didn't check to see our new weaponry, so like, what can we do here? Hmm. The load boomerang slows enemies down. That's actually not all that bad, but yeah. like... On the other hand, we have the fucking Moogle Claws that can put enemies to sleep. And also we got the spear that can balloon enemies, which is objectively the best thing you can do in this game. Mm-hmm. And this is, uh, it works on insects and such. Use against animals, birds, beasts. Oh, you fucking bet them. You can that. use it in your favorite department store. Insects and things. Oops, I think we switched somehow. I'm trying to be the dude. Oh. And I am the dude again. Hit select. Not, you're hitting start instead of select. I'm hitting select now. Yeah, but now you gotta hit start first. There oh, you go. There we are. Okay. Cool. Um, should we continue? Well, we did just beat a boss. Okay, here's what I definitely am gonna do first. I'm gonna save this game. Mm hmm. Do we have full MP? Uh, let's check real quick. Nope. Nope. We have zero. All. So let's sleep. What night is 50 gift? Wanna stay? Yeah, I fucking do. That's why I'm here. Whoa! Oh, hey! That's not how you sleep in beds. Alright. Maybe I've been doing it wrong, though. I mean, <laughs> who's to say? 
Uh, nothing, nothing like a good night's sleep after lo losing the lower half of my body. <laughs> uh, well, now that I got the rest of my body back. Hey, so, let's just call it an episode. Let's just say, arbitrarily say that that was a part. I'm looking at the webcam again as if you guys can see me. I'm just sta you know, because I feel like eye contact is polite. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is thank you so much for watching this episode of Secret of Mana. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt and Friend. Safety serve bot. Signing the fudge off. Tell your mom we're pretty good.